What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome back to my Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster Platinum playthrough. Guys, we're now on part number four, and we are here in the Demekian Castle, the place that we uh, we saw in the last one got bombed to Kingdom Come. So everybody is kind of dead right now so we're just gonna we're gonna steal everything that's not nailed to the ground because uh well that's just what we do right <laughs> all right inspect the dead guy first of all just so we can get rid of him and open up a secret passageway and then we can go steal some items which yeah like we're gonna you know i think now is oh treasure nice uh so we got the 10 percent of all treasure chests in the game but yeah this is gonna be a uh a pretty quick run i think guys like we're gonna we're gonna really get through four quite quite quickly as long as the rng is rather rather nice to me you know what i mean also make sure you interact with the uh the treasure chests as well uh sorry not the treasure chest the pots just so we can get uh, the extra treasures so bottom left and top right pots will also have treasures for us and now there's actually only one more treasure chest here, and then we can uh, we can go and do you know the whole the whole story thing basically. It's like th a lot of the places in four are easily described as being pretty pretty quick. To be honest, yeah, pretty pretty quick more than anything. Right, last treasure chest, and it's there a tent. So if we just look at the items, as you can see, we have ten treasure chests, and uh, wait, we're still missing one item where did where did i miss that item wait a minute i haven't i haven't missed an item no unless oh i know what i forgot to do i only got two of the pots didn't i yeah, I only I only got two of the pots. Whoopsie. See, it's always it's always smart to just double check. You know, it's always it's always good to double check. Just because then you you're not gonna miss something accidentally. Like if I didn't look at the map there, I wouldn't have realized that I'd missed one of the items. So which one? That one. There we go. Now we've got all ten treasures and three hidden items. But yeah, every now and again you just have to you just have to keep checking. You know what I mean? Also, guys, I have a little announcement to make. So, as you all as you all know, uh, one of the one of the Patreon tiers, and don't worry, I'm not going to go on this like super long or anything like that. Just a quick heads up. Uh, one of the one of the Patreon tiers, which is executive and higher. So any executives or anything higher than that, uh, basically get videos as soon as they are made instead of having to wait for, you know, the, the general YouTube release. Obviously, YouTube is only going to get one, two, three videos a day, basically at most. Whereas Patreon is going to get them as soon as they are recorded. This means that, uh, well... Some things are going to be a lot, a lot higher. So, for example, yesterday I recorded six videos. I did three Grandia and three FF4. Uh, all of those are now on Patreon. Well, they should be. The FF4 ones are just uploading right now. But Patreon takes forever. And for some reason, it really does not like to actually process the videos, which freaking sucks. Like, I have no idea. I have no idea what is actually going on with that, to be honest. But yeah, Patreon, Patreon uploader sucks, man. It sucks. But either way, we're gonna we're gonna get them all up there. And the plan for today is once again to record another six videos. So by the time this is on, by the time this is on YouTube, okay. Um, this would be when is this gonna be uploaded? So this is this is part four. This will be uploaded on the fourth of August. So on the fourth of August, this video will be uploaded. And then if we actually let me just uh, open up my actual recording schedule. I know I'm all over the place, man. So this will be uploaded on the fourth. By time this video goes live, oh yeah, because I'm not doing anything first in Friday. I'm away. So either way, there's five extra videos on Patreon for this. And there's also going to be uh, some FF12 randomizer over on Patreon as well. So, you know, look look forward to that. Because, I mean, let's see. Where are we with 12 randos? So, on the 4th, uh, 
Let's see. So tomorrow, uh, you know what? That's going to be really awkward to explain. Long story short, there's going to be an absolute boatload of videos over on Patreon for executive tier and higher. So if one, two, and three videos a day is not enough for you, if you want to get more of a fix, then take a look in the description and go check it out. <laughs> oh, man. Right, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Like, we're just going to, we're going to have a really sad moment right now where Anna dies. And, uh, yeah, we find out that we got to go kill Golbez. It's a miracle, right? Poor Talaman. He's blinded by rage. And he's also left the party, goddamn old man. He's, he's left us. He's left us in the lurch, dude. How, how could he do that to us? How could he actually do that to us and just leave us in the lurch like that? Well, it's fine. We get we get the Spoonie Bard. The birth of the Spoonie Bard memes. Oh, man. He's going to be absolutely terrible, though. It's like Edward. Edward's not that good. I mean, in the... Um, the PSP and the like, just the 3D version, so the PSP uh, and 3DS. Edward is actually a pretty good character. Like he got a lot of buffs. Whereas in the NES and you know the the Pixel Remaster version, he's not that amazing, sadly. So even though even though we're going to be forced to use him right now, it's not going to be that amazing. Like he's not he's not going to be all that helpful to be honest to say uh, to say the least like most of most of the damage i say most basically all the damage is still going to be coming from um cecil and redia he's essentially just a just a tag along basically we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna have him tag along with us now that's kind of that's kind of all he's gonna be there for although we are going to get a new car now we're going to get a new vehicle the hovercraft and the hovercraft is uh, <clears throat> a little unique in that it allows us to go over shallow rocks so these floating rocks on the water we can then go over now basically so we need to we need to use this now to go over to the antlion cave which is going to be over here so basically really close to us i mean if you oh wait you can't touch go that way damn i was gonna hope we could either way it doesn't matter right so we've got the we've got the uh, the hovercraft now so it is time to go into the antlion cave also also you should probably you know equip Edward with some uh, some other stuff just because he's kind of he's kind of bad you know he's he's kind of bad. We're gonna use the crossbow and the holy arrow as well because it's pretty it's pretty potent. It it's a pretty good combination that is. So we're gonna throw that on ready. Now for the antlion cave, let's let's talk about the bestery first of all, shall we? So new area. <coughs> oh excuse me new area obviously new enemies so we are going to need number 22 which is going to be the domovoi 23 is the yellow jelly 24 is the basilisk 25 is leshy and 26 is the adamantois now one thing to note is the yellow jelly is basically completely immune to physical damage so we are going to have to use a uh, magic on that so as we as we go through we basically want to uh, we basically want to save as much mp on on radio as we possibly possibly can okay right now with with that said oh nice we got the demo boy oh, okay you know i wonder if we're actually going to get another goblin summon could you could you imagine that would actually be kind of funny right uh should i use sing or should i heal yeah, let's just use heal. It's it's a free heal. Oh wait, no, heal uses my potions, doesn't it? Shoot. Okay, yeah, we can't we can't use heal. We we don't want to waste all my potions. So we can't we can't really do that. You know, I swear, I swear I did that on the uh, the marathon as well. Like I just set him to heal, like without even without even thinking. And then I burnt through all of my potions. Oh nice, we got the basilisk too. Yeah, attack and sing. I can't remember what sing actually does. Oh, it just puts them to sleep. Yeah, okay, we'll just change him over to attack instead then. Oh yeah, song of silence now. We'll just we'll just uh, put him to attack. 
Oh, already you got petrified, really? Well, that's kind of mean, dude. Huh. Never mind. Right, okay, so we got the treasure chest there. Now, there's just a little bit of uh, treasure for us left to get in here. There's two more, as you can see right there. So, let's very quickly run on over and grab them. And then we can move on safely to... Wait, why is auto battle not staying on? Oh, man, is this, is this another one of them where I'm going to have to go into the options every single time I load up the game and just turn auto battle back on? Because if so, that's not going to be very, uh, that's not going to be very nice, is it? All right, hang on. Config. Yep, it's turned continue auto battle off for some reason. Ugh. <sighs> I have no idea. Okay, well, typical. The one the one fight where Auto Battle stays on is the one fight where I actually need to use magic. Okay, uh, let's try Ice. I can't remember what they're actually weak to. I know I know they are not weak to Thunder, because I'm pretty sure they are Thunder Element to begin with. But we'll just we'll try this anyway and just see what happens. Ugh, eight damage. Okay. Darkness. See what see what darkness does to them nothing okay let's try a thunder i think thunder's gonna heal them oh no they are weak to thunder okay never never mind then never mind then it's like well we'll take that as it comes we'll take that as it comes but yeah so one of the things i was doing um i've been i've been sort of thinking about okay how how long is is this series gonna go sort of thing because we were we were talking about it um the other day well i say the other day like the other video where we were kind of we're kind of thinking like you know how how long is it actually going to take and all that and i was sort of i was sort of going through everything we need to do in in our in my head dude we got another goblin drop are you for real right now god damn it man like what what even is this dude what even is this well okay but yeah uh we were we, so i was sort of i was sort of going through it in my head like everything we need to we need to do and all that and I don't think it's actually going to take all that long, to be honest. I think we can probably have this done in, like, 20 to 25 parts. Just because, like, I was I was sort of going through the, the areas, right? Like, I was going through all the areas, what we need to do in them, and so on and so forth. And the areas themselves are not actually that long they're not gonna they're not gonna take that long or anything what what is going to take our time the most is we need to we need to basically get the bastery okay so the bastery is gonna take a bit of time and then we need the other secret summons pretty much those those are gonna be those are gonna be the um the big ones essentially so i don't know like we could we could end up okay we definitely need blizzard on the adamant toys uh but yeah we could end up doing it way quicker than i thought you know because of good rng and such on the fights and the drops or it could take a little bit longer but around around 20 is essentially what i think we're gonna be uh we're gonna be needing you know like that that is what i think we're going to need but we'll have to we'll have to see obviously things can change you know we just need to we just need to adapt as as time goes on pretty much and of course with the uh, with the new recording schedule that i'm i'm doing uh right now we're gonna we're gonna get it done really really quick where on earth is he gone yeah, edward do you want to do you want to come back dude but yeah so with the with the new recording schedule i got like i'm hoping that i will have um well, I mean, we're in the start of August right now, so yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna have this done, um, sort of this, this month, you know what I mean? So we're definitely gonna have four done this month very, very easily. One of the, one of the things though that I do think we need to talk about is, so with, with the schedule, right, with, with the schedule that I'm sort of working off of, I have, I have something really, really big planned for, you know, sort of towards the, um, the end of the year essentially so so that leaves a little tiny problem so the way the way i've sort of been doing it is i don't know right i don't know if we are going to have ff6 done this year okay that one in particular might be a series that we have to start in january simply due to the fact okay simply due to the fact that what what i have planned for the end of the year is basically going to go from sort of october 2nd all the way through 
to New Year's. Okay, and when I when I say, oh, you know, we might not have any FF6 until January because of this, uh, trust me, you're not going to care. Like, when, when you actually see what what is actually going to be coming. Also, that's all the treasure, by the way. Uh, what what you are going to see from from the end of the year, well, from October to the end of the year, you are you are definitely definitely going to be very very excited. It's something. Now, I'm not I'm not going to say what it is. However, I have actually said what it is before. So I've I've announced this little plan of mine before. Can't remember what video, but I know I know I've announced it. It was definitely a while ago though that I uh, that I last talked about this. However, now the plan is in full swing. Okay, the plan is in full full swing now. So look forward to it, guys. It's gonna be it's gonna be really good. And of course, we're gonna have the uh, the twenty four seven stream starting soon as well. So that's gonna be uh, super super cool to. Still not 100% sure on when uh, when that is going to start at this point. I still need to I still need to finish building the actual uh, the actual PC, but it shouldn't actually be it shouldn't be that long now to be honest. Like I just I just need that little bit of free time, you know. And I also need to actually build my new desk basically. So that's kind of that's kind of suck. Oh uh, right, best three. What are we missing? Uh, have we got everything? Oh, we've got everything. Yeah, so Domovoy, Yellow Jolly, Basilisk, Lashy, Adamantis. Okay, so we we've actually got everything in here. Sweet, we can just go uh, we can just go fight the boss then. This is where the ant lion lays its eggs. So he just casually sort of steps into it. Eek. It's okay. Ant lions are quite tame. They don't attack people. Yeah, I'll demonstrate by taking the sand ruby like so. And of course he nearly dies. Oh, of course. Arr. Come on, we have to help him. Yeah, let's help the spoony bard. Right, so Antlion is actually super easy. It's actually even easier than the last boss we uh, we had. It does not, however, have any weakness, unfortunately. So, you know, keep keep that in mind. But let's see how much damage Chocobo does. Because I haven't, I haven't tried that just yet, have I? I mean, to be fair, though, we're doing 200 damage with Cecil. We only need, like, four hits. Like, he really, he really does not do a lot of damage, to be honest. And Chocobo does 200. Yeah, we, we got this in the bag. He's going to die very, very quickly. There's really nothing to worry about with Antlion. Never never really has anything that dangerous, you know what I mean? I do think Antlion needs a kind of a, a little rework. You know, if they were if they were to ever do like a remaster or a remake for FF4, I do think this fight definitely needs a little bit uh, a little bit of a rework. Just because of how weak it is. You know, even even compared to the previous boss and that, it's really really not that strong and obviously yes i know i know i've done a little grinding because of getting the drops and the bestery and all that even without grinding okay even without any grinding whatsoever it's actually ridiculously easy how could this happen they've always been totally harmless monsters are growing in number of late and their behavior is changing as well i can't help but feel this is some kind of sign come let's go cure rosa Okay, we can we can do that, I suppose. I suppose we can do that. Alright, let's go. I suppose we might as well. Alright, it's time to leave this place right now. Obviously we've already got the best three and I'm already super high level, so I'm just gonna turn encounters off while we uh, while we run out of this place. Just cause, you know, it, it's a little it's a little time safe. We've already got everything in here. There's no point getting any extra levels or EXP or gill or anything like that. Simply due to the fact there is going to be a place a little bit later where, I mean, it just it just dwarfs anything we can gain right now. To be fair, right? Okay, so we've got the uh, we've got the sand ruby right now. So what we need to do is we need to basically go back the way we came over the over the water, and then we're gonna go all the way down to the left hand side, and then there's a few more rocks, and we just follow these down back to the desert where Calpo is. So nice little, nice little shortcut right there, and then we just get out uh, right, right here, basically. Also, also once we once we cure Rosa, uh, she is kind enough to join our party. We're gonna have a dedicated white mage at this point. Rosa! Use the sand ruby. Don't know why I've still got the bomb ring though. Rosa is exposed to the light of the sand ruby. 
Man, imagine being healed by the glow of a gem. Oh. Subscribe! You're alive, thank goodness. How do you feel? I'm fine, but I thought I'd lost you. They told me you died in mist when the earthquake hit. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Rosa, who's Golbaz? He's the new captain of the Red Wings, appointed by the king himself. But the king has been acting strangely. I believe Golbez is manipulating him to collect the crystals for himself. With Mercidia's water crystal in hand, he'll surely go after the others. The fire crystal of Domachian, the wind crystal of Fabul, and the earth crystal of Troa. The fire crystal has already fallen into his hands. Ah, let me introduce you. Edward is the Prince of Domekian. Aridia is a summoner from Mist. I wouldn't have been able to get the San Ruby and cure your fever without their help. Hey there. Hello, Aridia. Thank you both so much. After Domekian, Fabul must be their next target. We must... Cough, cough. You have to rest now. Don't worry. We'll go to Fabul. Sadly, the trail to Fabul is blocked by thick ice. Aridia, can you cast fire? No... Fire is one of the most elementary of black magic spells. As a summoner, you... Where is a stop? You're in no condition to come with us. I'll be alright, really. On my honor as a white mate, I promise I won't be a burden. Oh, they stare deeply into each other's eyes. Rosa only wishes to be with you, subscribe. Alright, we'll go together. Just make sure you get plenty of rest tonight. Thank you. Okay, so now we have another party member. And we're totally never going to treat her like a white mage. Just just so we're clear, okay? We're never going to treat her like a white mage. Oh, he's being all sneaky, man. The spoony bard's being all sneaky. Good tune, though, isn't it, guys? Good tune. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we're forced into a fight with the Sahagan. Now, one thing to note, okay, is this fight is basically only Edward, as you can as you can see. And we do unfortunately have to win. Luckily enough, though, you know, we have heal, we have potions, we do damage. So it's kind of just gonna be a little bit of a, a little bit of a slog fest, basically. It, think, of it, think of it as a little like a tutorial fight. However, if you don't actually level Edward up, um, then you can actually die in this fight very, very easily. But at least we got some EXP for Edward. So we got two levels right there. Very, very nice. Anna, this can't be... I must leave this world for a better place. No, don't go. I can't live without you. Bye, Anna. You mustn't let Golbez have the crystals. Fight for your people. Care for them as you did for me. Yes, I'll do it. I'll fight. But how can I stop him? I don't know what I should do. Right. Okay. So everybody's in the party right now. Rosa is in the uh, the front row for some reason, but that's because we kind of have to have someone in the front row and someone in the back row. So we're just we're just gonna leave it there. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we will be able to change that later. We just need to recruit one more character for now, and then once we uh, once we get that extra character, then we can properly move her to the uh, to the back row basically anyway with that said it's now time to once again leave so what we need to do now is that we need to make our way all the way back to the antlion cave so we need to actually go uh all the way up to the upper uh northeast area of the continent basically uh, and then rather than going inside the antlion cave we're actually going to go around it basically so we're not gonna we're not gonna go in there we're gonna keep on going all the way along until we get here to mount hobbs and then we're just gonna get off and go on in although we are gonna drop a, a save real quick just you know safety and all that so 
let's -a go. So this is Mount Hobbs, the western entrance. And now we can finally use fire with Rydia. Well, we will be able to when she gets over herself anyway. What's wrong? Give it a try. I know you can do it. No. I, I hate fire. That's right. Her village was destroyed by fire when... Rydia, you're the only one who can melt this ice. If we don't get to Fabul, more people will be in danger. Please, Rydia, it's time to be brave. You know, I just have one question here, right? So, there's a giant there's a giant block of ice, yeah? Why is there not a single bit of ice anywhere else? Literally, anywhere else on this area. There is not a single bit of ice, man. It, it freaking sucks, dude. It freaking sucks. Right, okay, so there's there's that done. Right, so in Mount Hobbs, there are a bunch of new encounters, okay? We have the Bomb, Spirit, Grey Bomb, Skeleton, Cockatrice, Gargoyle, and Blood Bones. Now, Spirit and, uh, Spirit and Blood Bones typically only seem to spawn near the other entrance. Uh, so we'll have, to, we'll have to go over there for them. But... But what what? Uh it should still be, you know, pretty pretty easy to to actually do, basically. There is going to be a lot of treasure chests around here though. So we are gonna have to get them all, of course, and we're gonna get a, a, a new character soon as well. Oh wait, I've still got the encounters turned off, haven't I? <laughs> Whoopsie. That's kinda that's kinda dumb of me, really, isn't it? Right, so let's see. We got forest fire. Wait, what? I thought there was more than that. Oh, I am. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of the other area. Yeah, ne never mind. That that's my bad. I was thinking of somewhere else. I was. All right, so we do have fire now as well, but obviously we can't use that on the bombs, so we're just going to attack normally. Rosa, on the other hand, does have prey, which will basically be a a free heal, pretty much. Uh, so we are just going to have Rosa constantly praying, basically. So, we're, we're just going to stay fully healthy, pretty much. Although, what I want to do is I want to I wanna check um, the best story for the bombs and the grey bombs. Because I don't know if we can actually get a uh, another secret summon from them. I don't know if these ones actually drop them. So, we're going we're gonna to check that really, really quickly. Alright, so there's bomb... No, no dropped items there. And Grey Bomb, no dropped items. Okay, so we cannot we cannot actually get the um, the next secret summon here. So it is way later. It basically comes from a bomb-type enemy. Um, I just didn't know if we could actually get it early or if we do have to wait until way later. But it seems like, yes, we do in fact actually have to wait until way later it's fine though it's fine it's not it's not a problem i was just sort of hoping we could maybe get it done and dusted right now and then the only other one we need will be uh uh for a mind flayer but we're not gonna we're not gonna grind mind flayer until we actually get sirens anyway we we definitely definitely need to get sirens for mind flayer because it's basically a rare a rare mob and siren is Essentially something that allows us to um, force a rare mob spawn. Basically, it allows us to force a rare battle, pretty much. So we are gonna be we are going to be majorly abusing sirens for mind flayer and also for pink flans. So we're gonna be we're gonna be abusing them both. And it is gonna suck. Like it it is gonna suck. Don't don't get me wrong, it's definitely gonna suck. But we should we should still do it to be honest yeah we should we should still do it we hope we hope anyway 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 we are going to have a another boss fight right now this is mama bomb this is mama bomb so mama bomb even though it's a bomb it does not have any any weakness okay it is not weak to ice or anything like that also it has like eleven thousand health Yes, 11,000 health. Pretty pretty strong, right? Pretty strong. But we should still be okay. So, we're just going to auto-battle with everybody now. Oh, wait, no, Yang is in the front row. That's kind of weird. Why is he doing so little damage with attacks? Wait, why is he doing so little damage? He should be doing more damage than that. Hmm. I mean, he is in the front row, so I don't, I don't know. That's... 
that's pretty weird i i don't i don't understand that he should he should definitely be doing more damage than that okay either way the bombs over the bombs have broken up now so that's fine right, once we kill these now we'll be we'll be done basically it's like we could just use an aoe magic or something like that with radio but yeah we might as well just use the single targets because then i don't have to turn auto bow off and well we know how lazy i am don't we this is only three more well two more now so we'll be done we'll be done pretty quickly now and then we just need to uh we just need to grind out the rest of the bestery which yeah is gonna suck a little bit but it still it still shouldn't be that bad really you have my gratitude. Yang is my name. I am the High Monk of Fabul. I came here to train with my men, but all who were killed by a swarm of beasts. They were Fabul's finest monks. My name is Subscribe. We bring urgent news to Fabul. A villain named Golbez is using Baron's power to seize the world's crystals for himself. Then he covets our wind crystal as well. There is no doubt he already took the crystal of Demekian with ease. Fabul may be next to fall. Then the odds are against us. The only monks left in the castle are students. They stand little chance against the Baron's forces. I'd assume Gobez was behind the monster attack that killed your men and almost killed you. And the assault is imminent. I must go. We'll go with you to Fabul. You may need our help. Yeah, he's definitely going to need our help. Like, he's, he's definitely, definitely going to need our help for sure. All right, let's go. Let's go. Right after we actually... Uh, Sort out Yang's gear anyway. Because he seemed he seemed really, really freaking weak there for some reason. Right. Uh, equip Yang. Optimal. Oh, uh, that's why it did basically nothing. Because he's got the fire claw on. Let's just unequip that. We don't we don't want to use the fire claw here for sure. Right. We need a, a bunch more battles. Right, there's spirit, there's skeleton, there's blood bones. Okay, so we got bomb spirits, gray bomb skeleton. So we just need cockatrice and gargoyle now. Yeah, we just we just need uh, cockatrice and gargoyle. So it shouldn't be it shouldn't be that difficult. Wait, why is Rosa nearly dead? Holy crap! Well, she is dead now. Uh, okay, Phoenix down. We'll we'll revive her. It's fine. You know, maybe I should just set Rosa to spam AOE fire. Yeah, let's let's do that. So like most of the enemies we're gonna fight here are gonna be undead anyway so that should do quite a lot of quite a lot of damage wow yang's nearly dead as well hmm. Hmm. okay well at least that prey went off come on there we go right so we just need cockatrice and gargoyle now dude that was quite a lot of gill and exp actually that wasn't too bad to be honest all right let's just heal everybody up with potions we definitely need a little a little touch up of healing. Right, so we just need cockatrice and gargoyle, and then we can then we can move on. We'll do it in, in this area now, I think. Oh, there's gargoyle. Very nice. So yeah, we just need we just need cockatrice now then. Once once we uh, kill a cockatrice, we can leave this place for good. Once we actually manage to kill it, anyway. This is the only problem with this party. It's not. It's not a very strong party, unfortunately. There will be. Uh, there will be something later though that will make you know any bestery hunting and stuff like that ridiculously, ridiculously quick and easy. And that's going to be. That's going to be really, really good for sure. But we just have to. We just have to wait for it. Unfortunately, it's basically just a case of waiting until we actually get a good party, <laughs> oh, which is definitely going to be a while away, sadly. It, it's gonna be a while away right do i have gargoyle or am i still missing that so gargoyle is number 32 oh i have gargoyle wait what am i oh yeah it's cockatrice that i'm missing whoops yeah so we just need we just need the cockatrice Ugh. all right let's just let's go Let, let's get it oh nice we got it okay sweet so we don't need to we don't need to worry about that then right so we can now move on to the next area and that is going to be for Bool castle well, and you know the uh, the overworld and and all that, because we do have to we do have to move from the mountain actually down to the overworld. There is also going to be another monster that we need to get on the way to uh, to Fabul. 
and that's going to be the Gatlinger. Uh, let's just turn encounters off while we get out of here because we have everything now. Okay, so now we just need a Gatlinger while on our way to Fabul. And this should be really, really simple and easy to get. We we hope. We hope. Obviously, it's still a little up in the air. You no know, RNG and all that. It will it will probably give us the finger, as as is very typical with me and RNG. I am absolutely not that lucky, unfortunately. Oh wait, actually, I don't there's gonna be no bombs in here, so I can actually put the um I can put the fire claws back on now. So like we don't actually need to worry about that. So fire claw can go back on. Even though he's a monk, it doesn't really matter if we have a, a claw on or not. Because he'll still do he'll still do basically full damage with or without that. So yeah, it's just one of them. Right, we're gonna use darkness here because this should one shot them all. Should do. When it actually goes off, anyway. Come on, Cecil, come on. There we go. But yeah, this should kill them all. Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice, quick and easy. Clear right there. Right, come on. Are you gonna are you gonna give me the Gatlinger before I actually make it down to Fabul? Come on. Come on, just give me give me the Gatlinger. Come on. No, that's cockatrices again. I don't want cockatrices. I, I don't want cockatrices, man. We we literally just want Oh. We we literally just want one enemy, man. One single enemy. That that's all we actually want here. Oh, we got another cockatrice summon. Brilliant. Great. Great. God damn it, man. God freaking damn it. Right. You know what? You know what? We're going to get Gatlinger in the next one, everybody. Because I'm going to end this one right here. I do hope you've ha uh, you have enjoyed. And I will see you all in part number five.